Hello boys and gals, Coach612 here, and welcome to Sally Face. I'm gonna only be playing episode 1 for right now, uh, see how this does, cause, and see how I like it. But, uh, this is, a, this is, um, a game that came out a little while ago, and the last chapter, I, I think it came out at the end of last year or the beginning of this year. I think it was the end of last year, the last chapter came out. So I decided, why not try it for myself? So I'm only gonna be playing chapter 1 for right now. Uh, I see how it does, see how I like it. If it's a cool game, then I might I might play the rest of it. But here we go, new game. It's fucking menu music. Oh. It was just like last time. Or right, this time it started in a hospital. Do what dog. Like light switch. It's locked. Alright, let's switch. Oh, good doggo. Oh, what the hell? Hello? It's okay, Sal. Everything is going to be okay now. Come and see. Who is this? Sal, come and find me. I, this is going to be one of those videos that I'm just going to be doing random weird ass voices. Weird. Sound like my dad. Okay. Push. Oh, a key. A key. A lot of door. Oh, what the? Wait, what? Oh god, it's one of these. D P nope. D O G Haha <laughs> dog. Oh funeral Speak. Who's a good doggy? Who's a good boy? Hmm. A bird alive, you tell me. Huh? Go see for yourself. Haha, <laughs> I don't. Oh, not run away. That's sprint. Nope, that's. Diana Fisher. 1948 1984. Beloved mother and wife. I'm done. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this already. It's pretty cool. Battery's not included. Let's go. Uh, three. Okay. Hey. Simple as that. I. Ooh, hi. Dad, you are not my son. My son is not a murderer. <laughs> Fine, okay. Ooh, this is your fault. Uh, hmm, I just, I'm just gonna ignore that. Mom? Are you? Oh, okay. What the? What just happened? And that's when I woke up. Well, I guess I'd come back to that ruin later, but for now, can you tell me more about the body? Which one? The second one, though, the one from the apartment. Ah, uh, okay. Dad and I had just moved in. Had a weird feeling about the place right away. <laughs> this game is cool! <laughs> Episode 1 Stranger. Strange neighbors. neighbors. Hmm. I like it, I like it, I like it, I know. This will be our new beginning. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> 
I, I, I don't, my voice isn't warmed up today, all right? I just woke up. I got I to gotta get my voice going, all right? So forgive me. No voice just sounds any good. This will be our new beginning. We can finally leave that what happened in New Jersey behind us now. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? Okay, then. Oh, I didn't need me to go in here. Sleep aid. Dad still has trouble sleeping at, at night after. Okay. Kitchen bags. Just some stuff Dad had got from the grocery store. Nothing important. Store. Store. <laughs> I can't talk. Alright. Can't sprint either. This is as fast as I can move. As fast as my little legs can take me. My room. <gasps> Kitty! So you made yourself at home. Get already, Gizmo? Oh, Gizmo. Must be nice. Oh. Ooh. <gasps> Gear Boy! It's a Game Boy, but... Copyright, you know, can't... I was, I was wondering where that was. Press the wrong buttons here. Gear Boy. It's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Alright, see there, Gizmo. That's room. Alright. Hey, kiddo. Decided to take a break from, unpack from unpacking. It's not a bad idea. We've been at it for a while now. Maybe I'll take a break myself. What do you think of this place? It may not be as nice as our old house, but we'll make the best of things. As long as we have each other. I think we can make a real home here. I miss Jersey. I know you do, bud, but please, try to give it a chance. School will start up in a couple of weeks, and then you'll be able to make new old friends. Yeah, I guess so. I know so. Anyone would be lucky to have you as a friend, Sal. Thanks, Dad. Mm-hmm. So is Sal a boy or a girl? I think, I think it's a boy. Not sure. So I'm just gonna do I'm just a normal voice until I figure that out. I miss mom. Yeah. Me too, buddy. Me too. See ya. Try not to get in too much trouble. <laughs> Ooh, that's a hmm. That's a, that's something I can never promise anybody. Can I go over here? Nope. Oh, Alright. Well, because time to leave. Bye. Bye, apartment. South please. Oh, hello. Hello. Why are you standing here? I'm protecting noisy little freaks like you from seeing what the, what they ought to not see. Now square. I don't get paid to babysit. Who are you? I'm your fairy fucking godmother. What does it look like? Hmm. I'm an officer of the law, so you better show me some respect. Hmm. You look like a douche. <laughs> what happened in that room? Police business, kid. Why'd you run along? Back to your parents. I wish I could. What was that wise ass? Nothing. That's what I thought. Stupid weirdo kid. Grumble, 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 grumble. <laughs> Alright then. See you later. Oh, it's Hob. God damn it. Elevator. So I'm four. Let's go to. Let's go down. Okay, can't move that. There's someone standing over there now. No one's home. Oh, hello. Hey. Oh my. Sorry, you just startled me a little. You must be one of the new guys from 402, yeah? With all this excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name's Sal. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place. Keep things up and running. So, if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sure. Thanks. You're quite welcome. Duh. I like you. No one's home. Finally. There's someone standing over there, though. 
Move! Move the sign! Let's go to five now. <laughs> Whoa! This floor is currently being renovated. Please, for your safety, uh, for your safety, please make your way to the nearest exit. Okay. It's locked. Ooh. Whoa, hi. Hello. Sorry, I didn't think anyone lived up here. Hello? Sir, are you okay? You shouldn't have come here. I'm sorry, I was just trying to get to know my neighbors and... A dark place. This building. Horrible things happen. Are you sure you're okay? Wait, hold the wait. I need a second to process what the hell just happened. Okay, we have some weird, creepy demon people able to swear the bathroom doors locked. We have some ghosts on our hands. Lovely. Locked. Locked. Well, down to floor two I go then, I guess. Alright. No one's home. Yeah, who's there? Hello, I'm new in the building. I just want to introduce myself to the neighbors. Okay, come in. Oh. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sao. I just moved in today with my dad. Okay, so that's not the voice to give him. <laughs> what the hell is on your face, child? <laughs> yes, that's <laughs> Oh, I know. No teens, a new generation of self-expression. I was young. I was young once myself. I get it. Just as long as, just as so long as you're not in a gang or anything. You're not in a gang, are you? No, no, it's nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff. It will be okay. I I'm a collector, you see. I collect many things. These things are like my family. So if you mess with my collection, you'll mess with my family. Got it? Y yes, sir. Not a problem. I won't be giving you any troubles. Good to hear. So... Yep, I know you're speechless because <laughs> you've never seen such an awesome collection. Yeah, sure. Don't worry. Anytime you, I'm home, you can stop by and take it all in again. Nice place you got. It's my own chunk of heaven. Just me and my stuff. Do you live here alone? Alone? Or around you? I have all the company I could ever need. Well... It's not to have a visitor from time to time, I suppose. I'll be right back. Bask in my bask in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. A great accomplishment it is to have all to have this full set. You can look all you want, but don't even think about touching them. What's a glitter pony? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You don't know what glitter pony are? <laughs> My god, child. Have you never seen my glitter pony? Rainbow <laughs> <laughs> spectacular. It's only the greatest television show ever produced. It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you could want. And now the ponies. Oh, the ponies don't even get me started. Yeah. Um, I guess I missed that one. I'll have to look for it on TV. Yes, you will. Trust me. You won't regret it. Fuck. <laughs> okay, then, Charlie. Do... Do... Does... Mm -hmm. Sure. No one's home.
the fuck is going on in that room? The fuck? There's just a saw, goat, and fucking some electric drill thing. What the fuck is going on there? Alright, time to go to floor one, I guess. No one's home. No. Yeah, what do you want? A little early for trick or treating, isn't it? Eh. It's too good for nothing, kids. Grumble, grumble. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. She's scary. I don't like her. Addison. No one's home. Alright, let's go to Addison then. Oh dear. What a fright. Uh, pardon me. Let's start over. Hello, young sir. New resident of Addison Apartment, room 402. How may I be of service? How do you know who I am? I know all that takes place within these walls, sir. You'll do good to remember that. Can I come in? If it's no, I'm afraid that I'm quite particular about my privacy. I'm sure you understand. Sure. Goodbye. Farewell, friend. Alright. Oh, hello. What's going on? Hello, young man. You just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke to your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out. That's good. Try to get... Try not to get in our way for now, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. Was it murderer? Was it murderer? Was it murder? I can't talk about that. Bye. So long. What the hell am I supposed to do now? So I need a key card to get to the basement. Maybe I talk to Lisa about that, maybe? She was on floor 3, right? Yeah, floor 3. Lisa! Hey, Lisa! What was, it? what was the voice I gave her? Hey, Sal, what's up? Hey, Sal. No, that was the voice. How long have you been working here? Actually, I don't just work here. I live here, too. I'm on call 24-7 for, any, for all, any urgent maintenance needs. Despite what you may hear from others, this is a lovely building. I would call it home going on 10 years now. Seems like a nice place. You betcha. Uh, what do others say about the building? Oh, all kinds of stuff, I'm sure. This building is well over a hundred years old, you know. People are always complaining about one thing or another. But you hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I fix it. I respect you, Lisa. That's how I am, too. Just see a problem, just fix it. That's how I am. Yeah, most people do seem to complain a lot about small things. You can't sweat small things, Sal. It's just no way to live, you know? You're right. Take it from me. You focus on the good stuff, focus on what makes you happy this in this life, put your energy into that. Damn. <laughs> full of good advice, Lisa, full of good advice. So, do you know anything that happened in what happened in 403? It's a shame you and your dad had this crummy first impression. I promise things are typically so Typically, aren't typically so gruesome around here. Or Miss Sanders. Who's Mrs. Sanders? Oh, never mind that. Besides, not to set your mind on dreadful things. I like you, Lisa. Is there anything... This is pretty hard. Is there anything to do for fun around here? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll go say hi. Great, his name is Larry. You'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. You'll need a key card to access it from the elevator, though. Here, take this one. I've got a few extras. Cool, thanks. Is this building haunted? Sal, sweetie. I've been taking care of the Addison apartment for a long time, and I've never seen any ghosts or goblins. That's just people overreacting with their imag imaginations. Too much sweets and Scary movies, if you ask me. See ya. See ya around. I like Lisa. Lisa's cool. Alright, let's go talk to fucking Larry. Larry, you better not disappoint me, man. You seem cool. You sound cool. Okay, I guess that's where it is. Lots of tasty junk food. Not really hungry, though. 
I'm always hungry. Most you found, blah blah blah, laundry. Gee, I'm sure, I sure am looking forward to using this. Not. Okay. Hey, Larry, where are you at, man? Ooh. Duh. Get a picture of Larry and Mom, I guess. Ask me. Oh, what the fuck? What the hell was that? I'm with you, Sal. It fucking. You want to come back? Can I see you again, sir? Person? Madam? Ghost? Demon? Whatever you are? Bathroom. You have the exact same bathroom as me. Just we're not sleeping eight pills in it. Hmm. Pizza and cola. I didn't mean to do that. Back in. There is room. Lisa's room. Locked. Okay, that's probably for the best. Hey, Larry! Yeah. Hey, uh, Larry, your mom said I should come say hi. I just moved into 402. Oh, hey, coming in. Doors open. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> Okay, uh, I know what the voice to do now. Whoa! Nice mask! It's a prosthetic. Oh shit, sorry man. It's cool, I'm used to much worse by now, so I'm glad you like it. <laughs> so, do you like, have no face under there? What happened? I'd rather not talk about that. Okay, change the subject. I'm Larry, I live down here with my mom. I'm Sal, my friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad from New Jersey. Sally Face? Uh, I guess I didn't really have any decent friends to be honest so once they started me calling that I figured I if I owned up to the name then the asshole was gonna use it against me good job Sal I respect you you're a complicated dude <laughs> hey well that's what your mom said too mother knows best why do you live in the basement my mom always says it's cause we gotta live guard, we gotta guard the place from rats. I'm, but I'm pretty sure she gets this room free, rent free with the maintenance kid. It's cool though. I don't mind it. I get to listen to music as loud as I want when she's not. Go oh, as loud as I want to when she's not around. Nice. Yeah. It's like my own little bat cave. I like your shirt. Thanks, it stands for Sally Face. Yeah. I do have my own clothing line, so. <laughs> it's actually like this heavy metal man called Sandy Falls. You like heavy metal? I don't know. Oh, that's gotta change. Check out this song. It's their first single before the album comes out in a few months. Fuck yeah! Get it in, Sally! Hell yeah! Fuck yes! What's up, Larry? Yeah! Metal! What's up, the guy 403? Okay, I'm gonna have to talk over this music because it's very loud! That's Mr. Addison. He owns this place. I don't think I've ever seen him. Always talks to his little male slot. He's a nice dude, just real strange. Oh yeah, if you say Addison tea please, thank you. To him, he'll give you a cup of famous tea. I hate to stop myself, but they don't seem to love it. What happened in 403? Shh, not so loud, man. What, what is it? The killer's still in the building. How do you know that? I saw it happen. Are you high right now? I wish I was, man. This was some scary shit. You know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie, Big Creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, so I don't think they got his got any prints or anything. What happened? Okay, so I was hoping Miss Sanders with a clogged toilet 
I was just finishing up when I heard him burst and yelling like a like a like music. I know what you've done. Herman told me everything, you stupid bitch. Oh, the music is finally stopped. Okay. She tried to calm him down, but before she could get even a few words out, he was saying he was cutting open her throat wide open. Jesus Christ. I was shocked. I couldn't move. I was frozen by fear. Man, just peeking through the crack in the bathroom door. Anyways, it all happened so fast, and then he cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet, but not even my own, my mom. I trust you for some reason that I just met you. Shouldn't you call? Shouldn't you tell the cops? I actually tried to talk to that detective, but he won't listen to me. Without some kind of evidence, like, my word isn't enough. <sighs> See ya. It's okay. Radio. Painting. I like your paintings. Thanks, dude. It's my passion. Oh! You're fucking painting my dreams, you crazy weirdo! Cause that's the, that's the place we were, that's the dog we talked to, and that's the, the people at the funeral. Crazy motherfucker painting my dreams. How the fuck do you know this? What is this thing? That's, uh, it's a police scanner. I, I can listen in on local cops chatter. How the hell do you get, did you get this thing? That's a story for another day. But hey, you just gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak into 403. Maybe we can find some kind of evidence to show that detective something they weren't looking for. Pretty quick to sign me up for the break-in. Well, I gotta make the call down here, and I'm just messing with you. I'm totally up for this. Been wait, been wanting to peek in that room anyways. Sweet. So what's the plan? I'll call in a bank robbery hostage situation, and that should clear the cops out. For sure. I'm guessing that'll buy us a few minutes until they figure out it was real. You gotta be upstairs when I do it that, so we can make those minutes count. We can use walkie-talkies to communicate during the whole thing. Then I can give you a heads up to once I know all the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch the bank robbery with armed robbery at the, like a gas station or a drugstore. Make it a little more believable. <clears throat> yeah, guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this. Head to, the, to your room. And let me know when you're ready. Just press shift, but the shift button to, there to call me. Walkie-talkie has a shift button? How is that possible? The walkie-talkie Larry gave to me. You can call him. I can use this to call him from upstairs. Alright then. Sounds good to me. Alright, let's go. See you later, Larry. Have fun. I'm making police calls. Hmm. Up to our room we go. This game's cool so far, I like it. I like it, I like it a lot. Can I call him now? Oh, shit. Okay, I'm in my room. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna make the call, give me a second. Okay, it's done. I heard a bunch of them, bunch of hustling upstairs. So I think it, it worked. Go see if you can get into to go 403 now. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, holy shit. Damn. There's a broken coffee table with some books. Looks like anything important. Just looks like junk to me. Alright, keep looking then. There's gotta be something else. Man, this is pretty twisted. Tell me about it. There's these little figures. Looks like one is missing. I can see a small clearing in the blood. Hmm. <clears throat> That's it. I know we, how we can get him. Get out of there and come downstairs. Come down to the basement. Oh, just little things that Charlie collects too. 
Sanders and Charlie both collected those weird toys. They're nuts about both of those things. Miss Sanders, Mrs. Sanders got the super rare one or something. She was telling me about it that day. I was fixing her toilet. Anyways, I bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't. It wouldn't be surprised that if that's what why he offered her in the first place. That dude always did give me the creeps. It's just something unsettling about him, you know? Wow, this is crazy. This guy definitely needs to get caught. We can't live in a building with a murderer. Exactly. That's why you gotta get into Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Wait, why do I have to do it? I snuck into 403. Charlie isn't too fond of me. There's no way he'd let me in. He accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks! Fucking fatty. Alright, alright, I'll do it. I won't be able to sleep. I won't be able to sleep at night otherwise. Cool. You're the man, Sally. Here, take this baggie. You could slip the toy into it, in it without touching it. Why do I get the feeling you've done this before? <laughs> nah, I just watch too much TV. <sighs> For sake. Cool. I got a baggie. Right. Let me get Addison's tea first. Maybe, maybe I have to give him Addison tea. Maybe. Uh, Addison's tea, please. Thank you. This is coming right up. There you go, sir. Please enjoy. All right. He was on two. No, he was on two. Two or four, right? Yep. Oh, is that Addison's tea? I smell. Ah, oh, God, I forgot his voice already. Yeah, I just got some from. Oh, I love Addison's. I love Addison's. What was the voice I gave him? I love. Oh, I love Addison's. Uh, I can't remember the voice I gave him. Fuck. <laughs> This is the reason I can't do voices and shit, because I forget the voice I gave him. Oh, um, shit. Um. Oh, sorry, first. Oh, I just love Allison's time. Got my hair. Oh, fuck. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> uh oh, so I'll taste this. I'll relax. Oh. Oh, I must have dozed off there for a second. There. Hope you weren't thinking about touching my pony. That's what it was. My ponies while I was sleeping, pal. I was starting to like you. Let not dream of it, Charlie. Good, good. I'm glad. Say, if you get any more Addison's tea, I would like to no. Mr. Addison already cut me off for the day. Oh, maybe I can mix the tea with the sleeping pills and make them sleep longer. Maybe I can do that. Go get the tea and then mix it with the sleeping pills. Bada boom, bada bing, he sleeps longer. Listen, please, please, thank you. Hurry up, give me the tea. You are so please enjoy. Thank you. All right, go up to my room four. All right, I need to go into the bathy room. Nope, wrong way. Don't worry, Dad. I'm not doing anything. Sleep big. This will knock that fat back. <laughs> that would knock that fat bastard out for sure. I already put it in the tea. Hmm. I don't. Hmm. Something. Something about that tea seems. Hmm. hmm. Oh, cop bag is back. All right, Charlie. I got you more tea. Get another cup for Madison. As much as I love that stuff, I don't know if I could drink another dr drop today. As surprising as that sounds. Really? But it's fresh, nice, and hot. Well, maybe. No, I don't want to overdo it. I probably had at least 20 cups today. Positive? This is um, this is a new recipe Mr. Addison was trying out. 
I already had three cups, and I thought it was better, way better than the other kinds. I even, oh, I have to try that. Give it here. Ah, oh, this is better than this than his original. I don't know how he <laughs> got the toy. Score. All right, give it to the detective downstairs, most likely. Maybe I should call. He's on four, right? Sally face, my man. Good luck. Fucking thanks. Give the toy to detective man down here. Hey, detective. Hello, Sal. I've got evidence. Let me see that. This came from Charlie's room. How'd you get this? I was just saying hello to my na new neighbors. You know, trying to introduce myself to everyone. I was in there talking to Charlie, and he was showing me all this, all of his toys. That's when I noticed one had blood on it. Thought for sure this would be helpful, so I grabbed it with my lunch bag. Well, well, a little detective in training, huh? <laughs> Not bad, kid. I'll hold on to this. Just remember, next time you come to us with this info, instead of putting, make sure you come to us with this info instead of putting yourself at risk. Okay? Yes, sir. You got it. Right, I guess leave then. I'm out of this bitch. See you later. Oh, hey, detective. Hey, Dick. Good work today, so you can rest easy now. Ah, oh, ha ha! You crazy mother! I'm innocent, I swear. I thought you were my friend. I'm innocent, I swear. I thought you were my friend. You were my friend. You're the chosen one. Bring it smiles to the dead. No one was around, so I looked in the back of the back uh, into the back window of the van. Holy hell! Nope, I'm good. I'm fine. Nope, don't need to. Mm. Such a horrific high for I don't have to say. A long, a long time. As you are. Fifteen years old, and already you had witnessed two gruesome scenes. It must have been very traumatic for you. Sure, I guess so. And all these years later, the new evidence of that finally proved Charlie was falsely accused. After so much of this life spent behind bars, how will I make you feel? I'm not convinced it wasn't him. Yes, so you said. What about Larry? What about him? Like I said, the guy was my best friend all through high school. And after high school? Been over this. I lost touch with Larry after graduation. I don't know where he is now. He seemed to be upset about my mention of him. I just... I don't know. What, about, what good asking the same questions all the time is doing? I thought you were supposed to help me. I understand you're frustrated, Sal. I do. I want to help you, but... You seem to be holding something back. I can't help you unless you're completely honest with me. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, our time is up for today. So Sally has to take off the mask. And she's doing this thing. Wait, I... It's about Larry. Try, so. You know how strict they are with the schedule. Please keep that thought for our next session. Next week will be our last meeting before your trial. So I hope you let me help you. Why? Wait, wait, hold on. Why is Sal going on trial? I don't think you are a murderer, Sal. Ooh. You might be the only one. Whoa! Ooh, that was pretty cool. I like that one. Okay, that was the, I like this game. I like this game a lot. I just like this game. That was pretty cool. Um, so there. Yeah, alright. Holy shit. What did Sally do? Oh, man. I like this game a lot. I like this game. 
I'm definitely gonna I'm definitely gonna play more of this. Uh, I'll see how this does for right now with this video. I'll see how it does on YouTube before I make any other videos of it. See how it does if you if you like it. I'll put more out. Uh, put more out. Put probably play the whole play, probably do the whole game then if y'all guys want more. Damn, this is this is pretty cool. I like it. I like the I like the concept of it. But um, that was Sally Face Chapter One. Very very fun game. So of course, thank you boys and guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.